what we have seen so far is that gradient is the ratio between the height over the length. So it's all about how up or down divided by how left or right. So let's take these lines A, B and C and see if we can work out the gradient. So let's start with A. So our first step would be to work out the height. So it doesn't matter if you go from this point to this point or the other way around. But if we have to look at the height, we'll see that it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then if we look at the length, well, that's just going to be, if you look carefully, it, it's only going to move one place to the right. And so the length is only going to be 1. Now, 5 divided by 1 is 5. And so the gradient of A, the gradient of that line is 5. Let's look at B. So B's height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as well. And the length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so 5 divided by 5 is 1. Now we need to look at C. Well, the height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as well. And the length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 5 divided by 10 is a half. And so the gradient of A is 5, the gradient of B is 1, and the gradient of C is a half. And if you were to look at those three lines, which one looks to be the steepest? Well, A, of course. Look how steep it is. It's almost vertical, and that's why its gradient is 5. B is in between, so its gradient is 1. And then C is the less steep, what's the least steep, sorry. And so its gradient is only a half. So once again, gradient is all about height divided by length. But once again, as what with what we saw with distance, there is a mathematical formula that will do all of this for us, and that is what we're going to look at next. And on the Cartesian plane, this is the formula that I've highlighted in red that we will use for gradient. Now, just as the same as when you use the distance formula, it's very easy. You just have to, so for example, for line A, which is the green line, you just have to choose a point is number two and a point is number one. So let's say this is point number two and let's say this over here is point number one. And then we just go use the formula. So the formula says that we should take the y value of point number two, which is over here. Now what's that point's y value? Well, it's three. Then the formula says I must put a minus and then I must put the y value of point number one, which is this one over here. And that y value is minus two over the x value of point number two. Well, that's this x value over here. Because remember, this horizontal line is the x axis and the vertical line is the y axis. And so that's going to be minus two. Then the formula says I must put a minus. And then the x value at point number one is minus three. And if you had to go type that all in on the calculator, you would end up with five over one, which is five and we already saw earlier that the gradient of that line is five but now we have a mathematical formula that does all of it for us okay moving on to line b i'm going to call this point two and i'm going to call this point one and then we're just going to use the formula so the formula says that we should get the y value of point number two so that's going to be a three then the formula says i must put a minus and then i must look at the y value of point number one which is minus two and then I must look at the x value of point number two, which is this point over here, and its x value is two. Then I must put a minus, and then I must put the x value of point number one, which is minus three. And so we end up with, if you had to type all of that in on the calculator, you're gonna end up with five over five, which is one. And we saw in the previous example that the gradient of that line is one. And moving on to line C, I'll call this point number two and I'll call this point number one. And so using the formula, the formula says that we should take the Y value of point number two, which is three. Make sure that you can get each of these values and that they make sense to you. Then the formula says we must use a minus 
and then we must look at the y value of point number one which is minus two then we must look at the x value of point number two which is seven then we say minus and then we look at the x value of point number one which is minus three and that's going to give you a total of five at the top and ten at the bottom and that's going to give you a half and that's what we found in the previous example so the gradient of a line tells us how steep it is and we have a mathematical formula that helps us to calculate it when we are on the XY diagram and this is that formula over here